everybody. This is Jen from Main and Suds and Such and we're going to be cutting the two soaps I made yesterday. I'm going to make two separate videos but the first one that I made, let me get it, it's still just a tiny, the color is still just a tiny bit soft, is the SoCal Hollister. We'll start it and I dented it. I'm so mad at myself. Do you see that on top? Oh wow. It's on the end. I'll cut that off anyway. Get that little end piece cut off. I'm hoping this weekend, I know I get, um, I like my miter box and whatnot, but I want to get a wire cutter. So I'm thinking about getting my husband this weekend since I'm going to be making so many soaps to get me a cheese slicer. That way I can, um, and I'm hoping it'll keep my, because I'm not sure if you guys see that. But I'll show you when I do the when I bring the soap out that it it breaks on the bottom and I have a lot of tidying up to do. Let's see, do you see? Look at that. That broke. That's awful. That's gonna be uh, one of my slices. Huh. The soap turned out pretty, and there is three distinct colors. But when I cut it, it is wanting to um, crack on the bottom. And I, I've tried every different way but Sunday to cut the soap. Um, you know, going really slow when I get to the bottom. Because it does it every single time. Okay, that one's a little bit better, but that piece is not. I'll have to get that out. This turned out, I'm going to clean this up just a little bit for you so you can see how pretty this turned out. Look at that. That turned out really, really pretty. I like that. But it requires me to have a lot of cleanup. <laughs> you gonna say hi, Austin? Oh, you want me to open your juice? Where's the where they go? It's over here. Just say hi. They can hear you. Hi, that new poo You gonna say hi to Debbie? She likes you. Say hi, Debbie. I just. David. We'll say hi, Debbie. Hi, Noah, Debbie. <laughs> I'll show this one. I'll let you smell it when I cut it here. Take your juice. Come on. Hurry up so I can do this video. They don't like to sit forever in a day waiting on a video. All right. Hi, Debbie. I may try cutting this upside down. I've not tried that. Huh? That's okay. I'll get it. Yeah, because, God, this is just mangling that bottom up. Ugh. All right. Let's flip this over. I can always tidy up the top. Hold on. It's just depressing. But I need a better way to cut my soap. And, you know, I can't, right now I just can't afford what everybody gets, a bud cutter. No, I can't afford that. Oh, let's clean this knife. <clears throat> See if this works.
I'm going to kick myself if this works better. I've not thought of this before. Sure does. Look at that pretty bottom. This soap's kind of different. Well, I didn't really swirl it um, much after I put it in there. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I told you guys I've thought of everything sideways Sunday to cut. But, hello, didn't think of cutting it upside down. See how much prettier that bottom is? And the top is a little, the top's always softer for some reason on mine. I don't know if it's just because there's always more color up there, you know, where I put whatever's left in the bowls. <laughs> the colors always take just a little bit longer to harden up. And you know that top can easily be tidied up. And then I also don't know if it's the markings inside of the miter box that is breaking my soap as the knife goes through. What is it, Noah? Hmm? That's pretty. This soap turned out really nice. It smells really good. It's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. I was afraid that it's going to be way strong. In my five pound batches, that's what this is, um, I do about three ounces of fragrance. And I was afraid that it was too much. But it wasn't. It turned out good. It's a pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, I like that swirl. Isn't that pretty? I keep saying that. I'll shut up. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing down there? Uh huh. And then I seen some online on the Facebook group page that somebody posted some really nice storage, uh, like drying racks from Sam's. So I'm going to probably head down there also and get that. As I go down and get me a cutter. A wire cutter. Cheese slicer, not really a cutter. There's that slice. I really like how this turned out. Got the pale blue, the light blue, and the dark blue. I really like that. done a couple more cuts yeah they need tidying up which I've showed you guys this before how I do this which I'll go through and do this before I trim the edges <laughs> what are you doing Noah I'm just hoping 
find that my soap's not too hard for a wire cutter. Hmm. Cause you guys watch my videos and you see how hard my bars are. Which it's been 24 hours. It's 10.30. This one's not gonna want to cut easily. Yeah, that one's gonna need some major tidying up. Not bad though, not too bad. Alright, thank you guys for watching.